Our guest today is Jeff Hamill, who's CEO and co-founder of Equity Abacus, a very cool new tool, technology for share ownership guidelines, nothing else out there at all, anything like it. I was not paid to make this video. I really just love the product. And I love what Jeff is doing. I'm Brock Romanek today on Zippy Point. So Jeff, Equity Abacus, I'm so happy that I got to know you and, and check out this platform. I just love it. We're going to talk about three things that are the strengths, I think, of this platform. One is that it will save the person that administrates the share ownership program, saves them a lot of time. Two, it's going to enable insiders to better beat the guidelines and help those that are administrating enforce it. And then third, there's an improvement in the engagement process that the insiders can, can get more involved, feel more engaged in the share ownership guidelines rather, rather than it being a once a time thing. So the first thing I wanted to talk to you about is the savings of time. What does that mean? Sure. Thank you, Brock. Uh, it's really, it's amazing to be here. Uh, and let's jump right in. Right now, standard industry practice is to administer these programs on Excel. And this involves a series of highly manual handoffs, including one, ensuring Excel can capture all of the nuances of your program's ownership logic. Two, actually reaching out and contacting multiple vendors, 401k, stock plan administration, non-qualified deferred comp, transfer agent as well, grabbing all of that data and importing it into your current Excel-based tool. Three involves querying each one of the participants, which if you uh, believe urban lore, some programs are as high as 500 individuals. More commonly, we see maybe around 25 to 50 individuals. So reaching out to each one of the covered participants, asking them about their personal holdings, hopefully receiving a timely response, if not following up, and then finally receiving that response, grabbing that information, and again, importing it into the tool. And then the final piece of the puzzle is where you make the magic happen. And uh, the tool itself churns out the calculation, and then you need to create a compliance statement, not only for the participants, but for corporate secretary, who's on point for taking that information and making its way into the proxy. And uh, one of the items I should probably note is that there are zero economies of scale with this process. The more people that are covered by the program, the more you'll be repeating those same manual processes to reach compliance. And our goal with Equity Abacus was to remove as many of these manual touch points as possible and replace them with automation and a workflow management system. For example, that process we mentioned about sending out the ownership questionnaire, instead of being a series of emails, responses, and phone calls, it's kicked off by identifying your population, hitting one button, and an email kicks off that process. Yeah, it's a huge time savings. You know, your product definitely seems like a natural extension of the stock plan administrator programs out there, the board portals to help corporate secretaries manage the board meetings. But let's talk about the compliance aspect. I really liked when I saw the demo, the graphs and charts that at a glance, you can tell where a particular insider is via V, what their goal is. Um, and so those sort of graphics, I think, will really help people understand where they're at during the course of the year in terms of how close, you know, what they need to be doing in order to ensure that they do comply with their goal for the year. Can you talk to that? Sure, and our tool really has three main uh, opportunities to help people on their journey to compliance. So uh, the first one I'd like to highlight is once you have a chance to go in is, is front and center and it's our real-time compliance panel. So one of the questions we frequently receive from executives is, is where do I stand in real time? And often when that occurs, uh, general counsel's office or the total rewards professional in charge of the plan will have to run to their Excel document, pop in the latest stock, stock price, update the individual's personal holdings, and come to an answer there. However, what we have with our tool is the ability to take a look at that component in real time. And not only that, but it's front and center. So number one is the ability to present critical information in an easy-to-use fashion and have it readily available. Uh, 
a component of that are modeling capabilities where you can actually jump in and run through a couple of different scenarios where if you know that you need to hit a certain dollar threshold, say $7 million is your target every year, you know your company's trading at $50 and it's January 1st and they won't be measuring until December 31st, you can start plotting out some different scenarios of what it'll take to get you to that promised land. Um, whether a 10% up stick in stock price will do the trick, or maybe it needs to be 20 or 25, you can model those scenarios as well as changes to your holdings. Uh, if you know that you have some ESPP shares coming in, you could layer in those extra 500 or 1,000 shares within our modeling tool to get a better feel on how you're tracking on your path towards compliance. Uh, and the final piece of the puzzle really is uh, the ability to, to self-report your holdings. And so that um, process that I mentioned before of doing, a say, an email ownership survey and then sending that back to the corporate secretary, that's all been automated through our tool. And we've given the executives and board members an opportunity to jump directly into the platform and to provide visibility into their holdings. So to the extent someone makes a change, they purchase shares, of company stock, they dispose of shares in company stock, they have the ability to alert their corporate teams immediately through our tool and the portal functionality. And the big surprise for me when we discussed your platform is the, uh, the, the fact that you find that insiders, the, the, enga the engagement has improved, that insiders like using this platform, sort of like the board portals. At first there was pushback on new technology from board members that, that were not familiar with it, but then once they got used to it, then any boards they sat on, they wanted to have that the board portal available to them. I think this kind of thing will also be true for insiders that once they get used to the technology, they like like you told me, the, the, the engagement will be there that they'll actually be more interested in the stock ownership guideline program because they can see at a glance where they're at. And uh, why don't you explain you can explain it better than I can okay. how that all works. Sure. And I'll start out by saying this is not my line, but I've, I've made it my own over the years. And it's that Excel is a wonderful calculator, but a not so hot communicator. And seeing as that this ownership measurement or compliance process is for the most part handled on spreadsheets, it's unsurprising that engagement is suboptimal in this context. And so, and that's where we feel that we really wanted equity advocates to, to pick up the slack here and to, and to pick up the slack on two fronts. One, we wanted to make sure that it, it looked the part, that it was something that was supremely intuitive, engaging and elegant. It's a tool that um, corporate secretaries and total rewards professionals would be proud to put in front of their board. It doesn't feel or look like uh, an inventory management system. It really has that web 2.0 or for up to 3.0 feel, look and feel. That's what it offers. And then beyond that, you know, and for talking substance, which is most important, I think, to most of the people on this podcast, um, it's that it, it provides all the answers that your executives and board have about their program. And we did uh, some pretty significant focus group work, which I think is just a series of conversations we had with executives and asked them, what would you like to see in your program that isn't there currently? And we made sure we ticked off all those boxes. And so tops on that list was the ability to quickly and clearly understand what your requirement is, that is, what is your holding requirement, as well as any of the associated penalties. So not only the risk of penalties, but should you have failed, so let's say in the previous year, and a penalty was imposed, you wanted to know what that penalty was very clearly and easily to be able to ascertain it. Uh, and then beyond that, I think we spoke to this before about how am I doing now? Because typically this is a once a year assessment and wouldn't it be great to understand where it is that I'm tracking? And this is especially true if you have um, a desire to sell some shares. And one of the aspects of the portal, which we found that has really resonated with folks is the ability to see what share, to, to what extent you are over your requirement. And then of that magic number, what shares are vested and freely tradable uh, after using 
any sort of retention requirement. So that piece of information we found is, is critical to most executives and often one that they have to have a significant amount of back and forth with general counsel's office to get to that number. And instead now, think of it as a, a self-service aspect, that that number is omnipresent, it's in their face, they know what it is to the extent a company is comfortable communicating that with them. And uh, the final piece that we think is important is that of their journey and their history. So instead of a once a year PDF that's emailed to a participant to let them know how they did, all history and previous statements are stored within the tool itself. So for many of our clients, it's a, uh, it's a multi-year window that executives are given to get to the journey. Typically you see it five years. And so the importance of seeing how they've tracked over the years and what aspect of that is driven by stock price versus what aspect of that is directly in the executive's control. That is acquiring as many shares as possible or on the HR team, forming a strategy which is intended to get more shares in participant hands so they can better meet this requirement. Well, congratulations, Jeff. I, frankly, I can't believe that something like this hasn't been built earlier. So I'm very confident that Equity Abacus will do very well. Thank you. Thank you, Brock. Appreciate it.